Welcome to my educative channel. I have nearly 2,000 educative videos. Today I'm going to talk about blepharoplasty. I consider this procedure an old-fashioned invasive, invasive procedure that do not change nearly 600 years. Everything in medicine, in life, change. We have many uh, no invasive or minimal invasive procedures for a lot of uh, diseases, um, but it's very rare that conventional blepharoplasty do not change in many years. I developed a new non-invasive procedure in 1994. Uh, I have recognition, worldwide recognition from my peers. I have many rewards. Also, my technique appear in Wikipedia in Spanish. And today, I'm going to talk about why. I say that blepharoplasty is it's a wrong procedure, an old and wrong procedure. You can see this pencil, it's, it's very old, and this is the, the conventional marcation of the blepharoplasty. This is the way they resect the skin. Most of the skin that is resected belong to the eyebrow, the skin of the eyebrow. And this is Mayo Clinic today. And this procedure is done all around the world. This is this is fake. This is called laser blepharoplasty. This appears in, in internet, but these surgeons do not rejuvenate the skin with laser. They cut the skin with laser. It's uh, worse to cut with laser that with a scalpel because you burn the skin. The idea is not cut the skin. The idea is not cut the skin at all. The idea is rejuvenate the skin with laser. And also in the low where I lead, you can see the skin resection. All these photos is, are taken from internet. These are young patients. You can see Almost no skin of the eyebrow was left. Only the hairs was left of the eyebrow. And this young patient, you can see these curves. It's terrible. And this photo also is taken uh, from the internet. You can see with the conventional blepharoplasty are not able to rejuvenate the lower eyelid skin. And also they left a scar here. The surgeon, plastic surgeon around the world and ophthalmologists around the world think that the blepharoplasty consists in remove skin here. Patients don't, do not like this fold. Patient and surgeon look for sulcus. This is apparently is good, but it's not because here is the, the eyebrow skin and with the resection of the eyebrow skin traction the eyebrow down and the, the most important process in the aging process is the descension of the frontal area and the eyebrow area. I make a lot of videos about this. And this is, a, for me, is a terrible result. It's not good at all. And the patient have the same tired and sad look expression than here. And you can see here, all this descension, the dropping of the tail and the eyebrow. This patient needs a reposition. This patient have a, a nice eyes, very beautiful eyes. And if you reposition this, it's going to look nice, uh, younger, but here is only resection of the skin. The eyebrow is, is lower than before the procedure. 
the eyebrow hair is here. This is pulling down. This procedure can improve the wrinkles and can improve the lower eyelid skin. You can see this is a disaster. An open eyes, tired look. I take them from internet. And you can see this patient with this resection. Here is worse than here. They resect a lot of the skin and look at the expression of this patient. How do you describe this expression? Tired, sad, old. And also this patient have no fault here, have a sulcus, but the expression you can see the tail here and now is very low. This poor young patient resection of the the eyebrow skin. You can see how pulling this surgery pulled down the eyebrow. The comparison and this terrible scar. This patient all, also have no uh, skin. Just a little laser treatment is enough without a skin resection with this scar. This patient came to see me from outside the country after the procedure have a sunken upper eyelid, tired look, tired expression, and I perform a frontal lift. This patient also comes from outside of the country. You can see the kind of resection is terrible. Or also this patient, the scar, the open eyes, the open eyes, the dissension. This is the conventional blepharoplasty. The idea is not to resect the upper eyelid skin of the eyebrow skin. The idea is to perform a procedure without a skin resection, improving all the skin of the periorbital area and giving the, and giving the patient a nice natural look, happy, younger and you can see here this patient I treat I produce eyebrow reposition with three minimal incision from here to the hairline I do not remove skin never the periorbital skin was tightening and rejuvenating with laser I produce malar voluminization and I perform all these procedures at the same time. If you see here, this fold is produced, produced by the tosis of the eyebrow. Here, the contraction of the frontal pull up the tail of the eyebrow. If I resect the skin here, like conventional, this patient is going to be worse but this, this, this is my technique, my personal technique. You can see a change of the expression of the bit. All Russian, African people, Asian people, uh, Occidental pe people. I treat all these people that come from my country, from outside. And you can see a change of the expression. You can see it change, no scar at all. You can see how change the expression. This is a patient that received conventional blepharoplasty, resection of the skin of the eyebrow, pull down the frontal area and the eyebrow. All wrinkles can be improved with the conventional technique. And this is my personal procedure. No skin resection at all. The new paradigm is rejuvenation instead of resection. No scar. Rejuvenation and reposition. Young patient improve the view.
is a little change, but this little change make a lot. Change the expression of the look. Younger, happy, rested, natural, almost no wrinkles, and here is the opposite. No skin reception. Reposition of the eyebrow, rejuvenation the skin with laser. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.